I'll read off the bands. We'll, we'll, we'll analyze this. All right, starting with LTE. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So the two and the four covers PCS and AWS. Yep. We got the 12. Well, we got band hertz. seven. We got band seven. Yep. For we the got... reform of FDD, band 41, right? right. So that, that's good. We got third. Well, it's, they're not going to be doing it to LTE, so. Right. Uh, we got 13 for Verizon, 14 for FirstNet. 12 for regular. 12 and 17, right? Yep. Right. All right. We have band 25. We yep. have band 26. That's the old Sprint. We got the band 29 and band 30 for AT&T. Yep. Big time. Band we got band 66 and 71 to round things out. All right. Very so good. The way. The and then you got all the carriers. By the way, I want to point out the asterisk means that it supports CDMA or GSM networks. Uh, so which is like it's no optimized for anymore. Boost Mobile. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Pete. All right, we do have 2G, like Pete said. It's right here. Unbelievable. Yeah, Unbelievable, which is going offline this year. They can't oh, advertise other that LTE. On the phone. I forgot. This is important. I forgot these other LTE bands. Yep. Band 41 LTE for any sprint still out there. By the way, that's being decommed in like June or something. Um, yeah, end of June. And they'll be putting that back on the N41. Yep. Widen the yeah. channel. And then uh, we got Band 46. That's the unlicensed 5.2. Man, that's uh, that's uh, T. TDD, not FDD? Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's horrible, Pete. It's awful. <laughs> no it's wonder so why bad. I hate using it. It's so bad. You you don't even know you're connected to it. You'll get a random fast speed test, and then it, you take three steps to the left, and it's gone. Damn. Sounds like AT&T and Grand Central Station. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, we got Band 48 CBRS is in tow, so Verizon. I think T-Mobile has some CBRS out there. Uh, they have it in some markets, and they're using unlicensed in some markets as well. Yep. Let's move over to the 5G stuff. So the big thing about this, this is the entry-level iPhone that also yep. supports 5G. Right. All right, we got N2. Right. We have N7. That'll be future well, uh, N5. We got N5. Almost forgot about yep. the 850 gigahertz. Yep. Uh, megahertz. We got uh, N12. N12, very interesting. Got AT and T there. Yep. N twenty five. That'll be. Uh, well, I don't think anybody's going to be using it because I think all of it's going to N two eventually. T Mobile's putting their uh, band twenty five on two. But by the way, when I get a ten meg twenty five channel, ooh, that's clean. Yeah. They have a ton of PCS, so they've got a lot of flexibility there. Yep. No I don't band know working. who's got N twenty eight. I have no idea. Okay, that might be international. Might no Ben 14. No N fourteen. That's interesting. Right? Yeah, I don't see N fourteen. So that okay. that's first net moving to NR wouldn't be supported here except on the LT yep. side. Right. N thirty is there. N thirty, very interesting. Yeah, N thirty is there. Most of the phones yep. have had this for about a year, Moose, actually. So N41 that's four bands for so far. N forty one. Yep. N forty one T Mobile. N forty eight. And that'll be a combination of Dish yep. and Verizon probably Correct. to start. I think eventually T-Mobile gets there too. Yep. Yep. N66, all carriers. All carriers. N71, that'll be T-Mobile and Dish. Yep. yep. N77, that's there you all go. carriers. There you go. Yes. There is your C-band, ladies and gentlemen. We got C-band on deck. We got yes. C-band on deck. We got an AT and T approved C band phone right here. Yep, that's six. <laughs> that's six carrier bands on on uh, NR right there for oh, AT and T. Chame is right. We forgot AT and T does N twenty nine. So does Dish. Oh yeah, six spectrum bands for AT and T right there. Sneed for NR. Sorry, seven. Sorry, seven. Seven. Okay, and then these last two N seventy eight N seventy nine. Yep. Those are international roaming for C band. Yep. However, what's the red flag here? We're missing uh, something. Oh, yeah. No millimeter yep. wave, kiddos. No millimeter wave. No also, millimeter wave. 
Also, despite it having six channels for AT and T, it only does two by two MIMO and five yeah, G. Only does two by two MIMO. Oh, right, let's period. Let's period. Even on the Wii Fi. Yeah. Let's let's check this out, guys. Man, my eight by eight MIMO and my Wii Fi wouldn't be able to improve this. <laughs> All right, we got Bluetooth five We got Wi Fi six enabled. That's good. Not bad. Not bad. That's good. Okay, we do have 2x2 two two MIMO on Wi-Fi. What's the higher order MIMO on Wi-Fi? I can get my router go, goes 8x8. Eight eight. I've seen 6E at 16x16. 16 ah, 16. Oh, man. Yeah, th this is like bottom of the road RF. And 7 says data plans require access to certain features, including... 5G LTE voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling were available. So what's the chances of an unlocked phone being whitelisted on AT&T for voice over LTE? Well, I think we have a bigger problem here, and I want to address it. Let's cover it. They've got 2x2 two two MIMO on 5G and LTE and LAA. Ladies and gents, this is not going to be a phone that's going to blaze any trails. You... you it's there for you to turn on and make phone calls on. You know one more thing, Pete? No N70 for Dish, man. Ryan just mentioned it. I just yep. thought about so it. So this is there. not optimized for Dish. Well, it's just not future-proof. This is a phone essentially from two years ago in terms of band compatibility. It's like my iPhone 4S. Dang, this is crazy, man. That, it, that listen. links to band 12 on T-Mobile. Yo, Pete. Hey, this it's is, a um, 4S. This is, that does we, band 12. Time hasn't changed. Okay, so if you are in an LTE-only iPhone, this is only slightly an upgrade because it has 5G bands. Yep. But it has it's low... A, I think, Pete, I think it has lower order LTE. It does. I'm pretty sure that the iPhone 11 did 4x4 MIMO on LTE. Dual SIM, they do a nano physical SIM, and they do an eSIM. Mm -hmm. iPhone SE not compatible with existing micro SIM cards. Anybody still got those? Um, I have a all the SIM cards I have from T-Mobile, at and and the last one I got from Verizon. You punch out the nano, but you also have a template for these two other sizes. We have to mention this about cellular. Yeah. While N77 is supported, not all flavors of N77 are. Oh, interesting. That needs an asterisk. Yeah. Interesting. So you're talking about the DOD spectrum is not available? That is correct. The N77. Well, the N well the N77, it's Apple. They, they cut out the DOD spectrum from... Um, the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, too, so, you know. What I think happened here, Pete, is the FCC clearance predates the completion of DOD, and Apple said, nah, we're good. Yeah, their customers don't, don't need full RF capabilities. Yeah, so, guys, gals, listen. If you are, like I said, if you're a cellular snob, this is not how you're going to get your fix, but you're definitely not going to be even maximizing the mid-band. Yeah, get a Pixel 6a if you Wait, want to do that though, compared to Steve this. Man. Steve, man, here's the thing, though. Apple is the only OEM so far that has improved their modem through firmware and software upgrades. Hey, um, let me give my final thoughts on cellular, and I think this has to be said, and... Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm the elder statesman here, so I'm going to try to keep a level head on this. All right. Yeah. Let's talk about it. The fact that it doesn't have millimeter wave is not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, Doc. If, you, if you live in where I am, no millimeter wave's fine unless you're spending a lot of time in Denver. So Wait, that's quick the question. Thing. I'm in I'm in a market that has a very healthy robust millimeter wave build. But even my expectations for this phone still would not mandate it or make it ob obligated that it should have it. 
Well, also, they limit the Wi-Fi MIMO to 2x2. What the hell performance would you get on <laughs> Millimeter Wave if they shoehorned it oh, in there? God. Wait. Okay. So, question for you, Need Question. Yeah, go question. ahead. Go ahead, Moose. Go ahead. Do you think that Verizon was told in advance that this phone will not have Millimeter Wave? Because they're the only carrier that is pushing for every phone that they sell to have Millimeter Wave. You know this as facts. You know what's interesting about this situation with uh, Verizon here, Moose, is one would think that they would want to force the issue. We want a version of this with Millimeter Wave. but And this is why I included the choices I did in the poll. This simply is not designed to target the high-end premium user with millimeter wave aspirations it just is not you know this the you bro this user whoever's going to get this phone in all likelihood doesn't care if it's dss or real nr you know like 90 percent of them don't even know the difference let alone i don't even think they care about the 5g to be really honest with you they'll say okay i got a 5g phone great what's it going to do different for me now and then they're going to say it does nothing different for me (laughs) they're going to be like whatever you know um so, so you know, like when I think about this from the the big picture, the absence of millimeter wave bars absolutely no impact on the sales of this phone, on the perceptions of this phone, on the performance of this phone overall. Like Pete's right. Look at the MIMO. Look at the Wi-Fi. I mean, the limitations are there are several. But but yet and still, it's still a nice package of a device based on whom it is targeting and who it's going to sell to. But listen, hey, you guys are forewarned. For those of you out there that are going to buy this, you're not getting millimeter wave support. That's all it is. Like, it's not going um, to make it a dud. It's not going to make it DOA. It just doesn't have it. I like Ryan's comment. Ryan Van Denberg saying most people who would buy this don't even know what millimeter wave stands for. He might be right. Uh, I think he's right. Yeah. So that being said, I do think there is one cellular disappointment here, and it's not the millimeter wave absence. Or the N14. I I think it's that piece, and I think it's also half of the N77 piece. Okay, so why do I say that? It doesn't have 3.45 gigahertz certification. That's 40 megahertz of spectrum on AT&T. That's 40 megahertz of spectrum on DISH. And in some cases, it's 40 megahertz on T-Mobile or 20 megahertz on T-Mobile. Right. So if you're on those carriers... That means you don't have N77 on DISH. That means you have half the N77 on Mm AT&T and some of the the N77 on T-Mobile because they're they're mixed, right? This phone phone has an omission on Verizon, which is the millimeter wave. It has two omissions on AT&T, which is N14 and the ends half of the N77. And then... It's got issues with dish, I suppose. The max. No N70. No N78. But here's the thing. Again, does the person buying this phone even know what C-band is and that it exists? The max, the maximum, listen to me, what I'm about to say. The maximum combination that this phone can do in terms of the 2 by 2 MIMO restriction, right, is... 100 megahertz of either N41 or N77 with Verizon, okay? And a band 2, a band 4 with uh, T-Mobile or with Verizon, a band 13 or a band 2 or a band 5 or even a band 66. But my point is is that it's only going to be two spectrum bands for the NR. As compared to the flagship that can do three, I think even up to five, right? NR bands. 
aggregated. Yeah. 